Hey guys, welcome back to my keeping session. So, um, I actually have a little bit of a clip of me training, so yeah. Um, I finally got a little bit of motivation to start doing my pre-quest, which includes my Ghost Ship Exorcist badge, my Explore book, Golux, Kamurchi, and CRA. So I finally started doing those. I expect to get carried. Well, I hope. I shouldn't expect. What? Who the fuck am I? Who the fuck do I think I am? <laughs> so, um, I'm hoping to get carried on CRA and Hard Magnus this coming up Thursday. Which, shout out to Solo Thief. He already carried me on Normal Magnus and Hell Golux. So, shout outs to him for uh, helping me with my adventure to getting to motherfucking beast! I'm getting gains on this motherfucker! So, yeah, um,. <sighs> Once again, my CRA armor, I should be able to, uh... Should be able to tear it up from Epic, every single one of them. I assume for both top and bottom, you just need an overall to transfer hammer. So I do have a penciler armor for... Penciler overall. I have two pieces that are Epic. So yeah, um... Looking forward to keeping all my CRA armor, which I'll be recording. Um... Okay, so I... Yeah, I got my emblem to Legendary and I'm trying to get two lines of PDR and one line of attack, which is the ideal potential. You guys will see how it turns out, but yeah, um, I don't like spoiling shit. Anyways, um, here, okay, right here, I get two lines of PDR and one line of attack and you guys know that I usually have, well, every other single time I had fucking horrible luck with Emblem because for an Emblem that's literally the only potential I settle with. Two lines of PDR, one line of attack. For my Phantom it was two lines of PDR and total damage, which was a close second, but pretty much ideally that's all I settle for. I, I don't even settle for two lines of attack and one line of PDR, like that's how strict you have to be if you want to be like legitimately endgame. So my rule of thumb for keeping an item, you guys are probably wondering why I'm keeping my shoulder right here, is I have a rule of thumb. If it's gonna take me more than four weeks in order to upgrade my specific item, so if I want to upgrade a shoulder to something better, um, if it's gonna take me more than four weeks, I'm gonna, I might as well just keep it. But yeah, for example, like my Sweetwater Katara, like I'm not gonna, I'm probably never gonna get a Sweetwater Katara like within the next fucking year. I don't fucking know. So, um, I ended up just keeping it off screen and I ended up getting 18% attack on my Uggar Katara, which you guys are probably fucking cringing because I fucking did, but yeah. Uh, shout out to Solo Thief again for. <laughs> the uh, normal Magnus carry and so I end up getting a Nova Lycon boot and honestly I was just shooting for 12% luck on this boot before I stopped but uh, you guys see how that one turns out oh yeah and <laughs> I've been trying to grind so fucking hard to 180 and reason is because I'm trying to get carried on CRA so trying to get carried on CRA and you have to be 180 for that. And let me tell you, that show was a fucking bitch because like Road to Oblivion 4 and Hall of Honor, like those maps are fucking empty now and those maps are best to be training at in a party with a Kana and a Phantom and I didn't fucking have that shit. So it was really fucking grueling. And yeah, uh, you guys see my end, my end level with this video, but yeah, I was a fucking bitch, dude. Let's see uh, what else, what else, what else. I'm also preparing for uh, double miracle time, which oh my fucking god, like I I keep telling myself I'm gonna save up this money for miracle time so like I could be well prepared by the time it comes, but. I always like, okay, you know what, I'll farm it next time, I'll farm it next time. And that, that's been fucking me up, dude. But at the moment, I have one build on my dual blade. 
after farming for about eight hours on my Kana. Um, I know I should be getting one bill every six hours, but um, I guess I was just kind of like nonchalantly just doing it. I was like watching fucking TV and movies while I was fucking training, so not the most efficient way of farming mesos, but here's the boredom. Okay, so this clip you can see I'm 179, about to get to 180, and I was just like, please, let this shit go faster, and, you know, got 180 on this motherfucker. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next. Peace.